Morning guys, we're carrying on in the book of Colossians, which just started, and we're on verse 4, and uh, just last time we were just chatting, uh, just a little bit of an introduction, as um, this is a, a church in Colossae that Paul um, had, was writing a letter to from Rome in prison, and in verse 7 it says, just as you learned it from Epaphras, and that was the name of the person who I was looking for last time who founded the the church in Colossae, Epaphras, our beloved fellow bond servant. Um, one of the only times um, Paul uses that word for for someone else. So obviously someone very close to Paul and Epaphras coming to him in prison concerned about what's happening there and so Paul will be addressing certain issues of that church but initially here in the introduction, as we go through these first few verses, he, he commends the church for their faith um, in Jesus Christ and, and the fruit that, um, that flow out of that church. Uh, he talks about uh, faith and love and hope, which are those three are mentioned in 1 Corinthians 13, 13. Um, and being, love being the greatest of all gifts. And, and so we're looking at this from verse 4. Since we have heard of your, of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love which you have for all the saints. And so when we come to Christ and as Epaphras brought the gospel into that area, men and women were saved. And not only were they in love with Jesus, but they were in, started to be in love with one another. So every uh, healthy church will have a strong element of believers that love one another verse 4 since we have heard of your faith okay so verse 5 because of the hope laid up for you in heaven of which you previously heard in the word of faith the gospel and so the gospel has given them a hope of of heaven and that's the hope it talks of so the love it talks of is the love of um for the brethren for one another and the hope here yeah, is the hope of the things to come the hope of the glory in heaven and so every believer in every fellowship should have their eyes fixed on Jesus on the things above on the things to come and then verse 6 um, which has come to you just as in all the world also it is constantly bearing fruit and increasing even as it has been doing in you also since the day you heard of it and understood the grace of God and truth and so as we come to Christ, he fills our, our, our hearts with faith and love and hope, and he will bear fruit. There has to be fruit. Every born-again believer, every uh, Christian needs to bear fruit. There's got to be evidence of that salvation. There's got to be an evidence that the Holy Spirit has come into your heart. And so these are very, very basic principles of Christianity. They the elements that we should be looking in our own lives. Um, they should be uh, virtues that we're developing. And um, if we're lacking, we need to be looking at them. So do I lack in love for um, one another, um, for the fellow believers? Am I lacking in faith as I go into this new year? Are my eyes fixed on things around me or thick, fixed on heavenly things? Um, what kind of fruit am I going to bear this year? And these are all um, very basic principles, but such, such important principles. You know, if we had to uh, draw um, a list of principles that should be in every believer's life and every church, these would be right at the top. And so Paul, starting with the most important things as he starts getting into this letter to the Colossi. So I trust you have a wonderful day. God bless.